हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास वीडियो दिस इज द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ टेंथ चैप्टर टेंथ एंड हंड्रेड ऑफ क्लास फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड आई एम जय प्रकाश स्टार्ट द क्लास नाउ कम टू टूडेज ओवर व्यू सो टूडेज टॉपिक नेम इज एट द मार्केट इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल सॉल्व सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन द एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन ऑफ द टेसीमल नंबर सो लेट स्टार्ट इट हियर we can see some things which we generally see in a market like eggs a bag pen pair of slipper match box soap and clock so their prices are also given here eggs are 2 rupees and 50 paise one egg for one egg the bag price is 120 rupees and 50 paise cost of one pen is 6 rupees and 50 paise similarly many things prices are given here so now come to the questions okay so here the girl is saying that look at this funny price 32 rupees and 99 paise but if we give 33 rupees they don't give us back one paise yes actually the price for the price for a pair of slippers was 32 rupees and 99 paise okay but if we pay uh, rupees for this pair of slippers so generally we pay 33 rupees but the shopkeeper did not return 0.1 paise means sorry one paise didn't uh, the shopkeeper return to us so it is just a funny price really and uh, it is just for making us full to show less price now what part of 1 paisa is of 1 rupee so it is 100th part so let me write this uh, actually 1 paisa means 1 1 paisa it is shown actually 1 upon 100 rupees 1 upon 100 here we will get and in decimal we can write it as 0.01 okay now this is only to fool us by showing one paisa less yes as i have told you and one paisa is 100th of 1 rupee yes we have discussed about it it is written as rupee 0.01 means 0.01 rupee it is written as and uh, 99 paisa is written as 0.99 means 99 we will not read as 99 it is read as 99 means 0.99 in this way we will read it now some questions are here how many paise does a match box cost so the cost for one match box was 0.50 paise means 50 paise that was so how many match boxes can be got for 2 rupees and 50 paise means how many match boxes here we have to find the number of match boxes and the total price we have 2. Uh, sorry 2 rupees and 50 paise so listen dear students when you find the number of any object anything in the question so generally at that time you have to divide the numbers so here what numbers we have to divide 2 rupees and 50 paise we will divide by uh, 50 paise so let's have a solution for it okay so here first we will write given okay g i v e n g i v e n now we will write uh, the first statement will be uh, price of a match box let me write mb okay it is 50 paise and similarly we will write here total uh, amount that we have our money you can also write total amount or money that you want to write that we have is equal to 2 rupees and 50 paise uh, here you have to give a symbol of rupees now write here now n o w uh, 
numbers of match boxes you have to write here number of match boxes is equal to 2.50 divided by 0.50 downside you can write here let me write once again uh, last statement was number of match boxes is equal to 2.50 divided by 0.50 now let's start to divide this number so here uh, how can we divide this decimal numbers so first we have to convert this decimal number in the uh, fraction numbers and in previous video I have already explained about it so generally what do we do here we have a decimal after 2 2.50 so decimal when we convert decimal number in fraction so we put 1 means 1 is stand for this decimal and the digits that are after decimal we put that zeros means here we have two digits 5 and second is 0 so we will put 20 in the fraction number so the total number it will be uh, it will be 250 divided by for decimal point we will write 1 and for the other digits here we have two digits we will put 20 similarly uh, we have here division symbol now 0 0.50 so take off division line first for the decimal we will write 1 in the denominator and the digits count the digits that are after decimal point here we have two digits so put 20 and write on the top 50 okay means 50 now it is okay so here we have a fraction numbers okay so let's start to divide it so write here 250 divided by 100 and this division we will convert in multiplication symbol and after this the second fraction number it will be converted in its reciprocal number so what is its reciprocal number it will be 100 divided by 50 now start to cancel so 100 and 100 it will be cancelled now here we will get uh, 250 divided by 50 so let me write here 250 divided by 50 so 5 and 5, 0 0 you can cancel then 5 1 ja then 5 5 ja so here we got 5 okay so 5 is our answer so we can see at last hence uh, 5 match boxes can be got for 2 rupees and 50 paise here at last you can see the statement how many match boxes so here we can write 5 match boxes can be got for 2 rupees and 50 paise and in the fill in the blank you can fill it 5 now next is how many rupees does the soap cost so that was the uh, 8 rupees and 75 paise now next Arun wanted to buy a soap ok he has 5 rupees coin ok so let's start to add the coins and rupees first ok so first he have a 5 rupees coin so let me write here 5 ok then 2 1 rupee coins 1 rupees 2 coin it means 2 rupees and 4 half rupee coins half rupee coins means uh, 4 coins of 50 50 paise so it will be also 2 rupees so write in rupees what money he will get back okay after buying a shop how much how much money he will get but first we have to find the total money so 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 2 9 so here we will write 9 okay and the total money that uh, Arun has that is 9 and uh, the cost of one soap bar is 8 rupees and 75 paise so now we start to subtract it so how can we subtract uh, 9 rupees means 9.00 paise minus 8.75 rupees so here it will be 25 and it is 0 so 0 0.25 means 25 so 25 paise Arun will get back after buying a soap now question number 5 an egg okay before going on this question 
uh, here we have to read this conversation between a mother and a boy so kannan take 60 rupees and buy one and half dozen eggs okay you can buy pens with money left okay so two things kannan can buy first uh, one and a half dozen eggs and second is pen two things kannan have to buy so let's see what is the cost and how much money is left or kannan can buy these things or not he is capable or not with this money so let's know this so total money he has means his mother gave to him that is 60 and now uh, here we have to come to question number 5a an egg cost two and half rupees how much money sorry how much will one and one half dozen cost so here we have to find the cost of this x number of x so read the statement correctly here how much uh, will one and a half dozen one means in one dozen there are 12 objects right one dozen means 12 12 things means uh, 12 pieces we can get and uh, half means 6 so total 12 plus 6 8 so 18 x he has to buy so here we will write price the first statement we will write uh, x cost of one egg is uh, let me go to the solution page first then we can easily write it so here we will write given okay G I B E N. what is given cost of an egg is how much rupees 2 rupees and 50 paise so cost of one and half one and half means this one one and half dozen you can write here dozen x is equal to yes we have to multiply here so 2.50 multiply by 18 so start to multiply 18 0 just 0 18 5 to 90 so 0 will bring down here 9 will carry it so 18 to 36 36 plus 9 it is 45 now count the dc digits after decimal points so this is our decimal point and here we have two digits one two so one two from the right side you will count the numbers in the product so one and two so here we will put the decimal 45.00 rupees it means this is 45 rupees okay it is the cost for one and half dozen eggs now 45 rupees he spent on eggs remember that so 60 minus 45 how much you will get 15 okay now he is remaining only uh, re remaining rupees 15 now, now come to question number B how many pens can Kannan buy how much money is left so let's make a solution for it so as we know that uh, the cost of or you can write price cost of uh, one pen is six rupees and fifty paise and uh, the money he has our money left uh, you can write uh, he has money let me write he has money uh, he has money fifteen rupees so now our next statement will be uh, number of pens that he can buy okay this is statement we have to write number of pens that he can buy so now it will be 15 divided by 6.50 okay so now let's continue it let's divide it so 15 divided by uh, 6.50 here uh, 15 is a natural number but 6.50 is a decimal number so we have to convert in a fraction number so as we know that for this decimal we write one and for the other digits we put zeros so it will be 650 upon 100 now it will be removed so let me direct uh, let, let me write it directly so 15 
डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इट विल बी फिफ्टीन मल्टीप्लाइड सो लेट्स राइट इट रेसिप्रोकल सो हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ओके सो स्टार्ट डिवाइड जीरो विल बी कैंसिल एंड फाइव टू जा टेन एंड फाइव वन जा एंड फाइव थ्री जा सो ओके फिफ्टीन अपॉन वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू अपॉन थर्टीन वी गॉट सो मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर्स फिफ्टीन टू जा थर्टी डिवाइड बाई थर्टी सो वैन वी विल डिवाइड दिस थर्टी विथ थर्टीन सो वी विल गेट टू एज अवर क्वेश्चन एंड फोर एज रिमाइंडर सो लेट सी थर्टीन टू जा ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके इट विल बी हियर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड फोर विल बी रिमाइंडर ओके हियर वी विल गेट फोर सो वी कैन सी ओनली टू पेन्स ही कैन बाई ओनली टू पेन्स एंड बट हाउ मच मनी इज लेफ्ट हाउ मच मनी इज लेफ्ट सो कॉस्ट ऑफ वन पेन इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओके सो कॉस्ट ऑफ टू पेन विल बी येस इट विल बी थर्टीन रुपीज कॉस्ट ऑफ टू पेन सो इफ यू स्पेंड थर्टी रुपीज थर्टीन रुपीज ऑन टू पेन्स सो हाउ मच मनी इज लेफ्ट सो फिफ्टीन माइनस थर्टीन only 2 rupees is left now the last question the price of two pens is 13 rupees as we have solved here and can see by two pens so he has 13 rupees so she can definitely buy two pens so in this way the addition subtraction multiplication and division of the decimal numbers in this word problems we have solved i hope that you have very well understand it now if you have any doubts you can also ask your doubts in the comment box i will definitely try to answer there and now it's time to go so be safe be healthy jai hind see you soon